Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my car. Filming videos in here is just superior. I don't know why, but just a different vibe in the car. It's like so chill. So we're back in the car today and I'm back with a new video. I'm gonna tell you guys my pointers on how to live your best life. You can all do it, there's no excuses. So let's just get right into it because you already know I'm gonna be rambling on. <laughs> Okay, so the first tip that I have for you guys is listening to your emotions and listening to your intuition. Now, your emotions are, think of it as your guidelines. Like, your emotions are your body's brain's guidelines. You feel sad for a reason. You feel happy for a reason. Your emotions are there to guide you. They're your guiding system. And I recently learned this, and this is, like, a really cool thing to know. But basically, it's, like, when you're happy, that's your soul telling you that, like, this is meant for you. This is your path in life. Keep going they keep following this path your emotions are there for a reason they are there to guide you and once you realize that it's gonna be a lot easier to see what you need to cut out of your life and what you should do more of in your life and keep in your life if you're not feeling well and if you're feeling sad or if you fell into a depressive episode for a while you have to realize that your body is telling you that for a reason that means that you're out of alignment with your true purpose and what you're really supposed to be doing in your life if you're not feeling so good if you have not been feeling so good reflect on that and realize what's been going on around you do you like what you're doing at the moment right now if you're in school do you like being in school if you're working a job do you like do you like your job yeah just literally listen to your emotions because if you're happy doing something that's your body's way of telling you like this is this is your true purpose keep going this is making you happy your guidance system is literally there to help you and guide you to realize and to help you follow that inner gut feeling your intuition this is really a random reference but when i was younger i used to play this game with my sister and my cousin we used to hide something Thing. let's say we hit it in the couch or something and then we would go around the room and my cousin or my sister would say hot hot and when you're hot it means you're close to the object and if they were screaming cold that means you were far away from it you had to find a different path so think of it like that so you being happy is like being hot hot like you're about to find the object like you're you're in you're going towards your true purpose us saying cold cold you're moving further away from the object referring to you're moving further away from your purpose so it's like you're cold cold like you're not feeling good because you're going far off your path and far off your purpose i don't know why but when i think of like my emotional guidance system i kind of think of it in that way where it's like hot and cold like your body is going to tell you instead of screaming hot and cold it's screaming happiness or sadness and just think of it like that like let it, your emotions guide you if you feel great doing something that's your soul's or body's way of telling you that that path is meant for you so really listening and being in tune with your body to what makes you feel good and what makes you not feel good is so 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 important following your emotional guidance system is going to help you live your best life because it's going to lead you on the right path to what your intuition is truly telling you what your life purpose is so my second tip for you guys is do things that make you feel alive and not just like yeah okay I'm, I'm alive right now like I'm not dead but do things that make you feel alive whether that's jumping out of a plane what makes you feel alive reflect on that because it's such an important question what am I doing every single day that is making me feel alive for me going to watch a sunset and seeing the sky sky change colors and just witnessing that makes me feel alive and it's also kind of the same feeling that i get going on a roller coaster getting that adrenaline in me that makes me feel so alive and happy and just like little things like that reflect on them and be like what makes me feel alive what am i doing on a weekly basis on a daily basis that is keeping my soul alive that is keeping me alive that is keeping me running and fueled it's kind of like putting gas in the car like what's your gas like what what's your gas it's gonna make you have more ammo in your day-to-day -day life that's going to make you feel alive and be so happy to live this life and in the end it's not the years in your life that count it's the life in your years that quote speaks to me so much because it is so true what are you doing in your day-to-day -day life that is putting life into your years are you letting your days pass you by and just acting like a robot or are you truly living are you doing what makes you happy maybe it's something that you're scared of Maybe you have to do something that you're scared of to kickstart that challenging yourself when you look back at your life when you're on your deathbed whether you're on your deathbed at the age of 30 or 40 whether you're on your deathbed at the age of 90 at the end of the day 
if you lived up until you're 30 and you've done everything you wanted to in your lifetime, you're completely satisfied versus dying at 90 and you never did anything you wanted to do. You never lived your life fully. At that point, it's like, would you rather die at 30 and feeling so satisfied and happy with your life or dying at 90 and not feeling satisfied because you did nothing that you ever wanted to with your life? The next thing that I have for you guys is trusting your intuition, trusting the universe, not just following your intuition, but also trusting it. This is something that we don't get taught anywhere. We don't get taught this in school. Like it's not something that we really hear about often is like your intuition. I've just discovered the idea of an intuition. Like I've always said it as like, oh yeah, like my gut is telling me this, but I've never really thought about it deeper than that. Obviously, if your intuition is telling you to do something risky because of our societal programming and because of our subconscious thoughts that we have, it's obviously going to be scary to go outside of our comfort zone and to maybe follow and trust your intuition. To live your best life, you have to trust your intuition because by trusting your intuition, it's just gonna lead to greater and greater greater things for you even if your intuition is telling you to make a big or risky change do it that's the key to living your best life you guys you just have to do it go for it and do it trust your intuition because at the end of the day if you can't trust yourself then you're not gonna be able to trust anything and obviously following your intuition and making that change is gonna make you scared you just have to realize that if you don't do that and if you don't follow it if you don't take that big leap of, leap of faith you're always gonna be stuck with the idea of what if I did that where would I be now and it's like that feeling of regret is it better to play it safe for you and feel that feeling of regret for the rest of your life or that feeling of what if for the rest of your life or is it better to just follow it and trust it go along with it so that you never have that feeling of what if even if it doesn't necessarily work out the way that you planned on it at least you did it and you're never going to wonder what if again you can die anytime any day from anything you don't know when you're going to die you don't know how long you're going to live therefore make it the best life that you can go for those risks go for those chances because you may not be here tomorrow so the next piece of advice that i have for you guys is to be yourself no matter who you're around being yourself in front of different people being yourself no matter what or no matter what circumstance you're in speaking your mind speaking your opinion and having your own true beliefs that don't change based on who you're around this is something that i recently actually changed about myself because when i was in high school kind of every different group of people that I would hang out with I would slightly alter myself to fit in more with them and at the end of the day it was just kind of making me mentally exhausted because I would just be always caring about what they thought about me and therefore that would make me alter who I really am and I wouldn't be able to truly ever speak my mind and it's just so restricting so being yourself you can never lose with being yourself unapologetically yourself it's honestly way more mentally and physically exhausting to not be yourself and try and put up a false perception of yourself than just being yourself and and being true to who you are. We are all unique and you have to realize that everybody is different. Nobody has like the exact same thoughts. We are all unique and we all have our unique morals, religions, beliefs, values. We all have unique traits for a reason and that's because that's what makes us unique and that's what makes us special and if you're conforming to whoever you're around and you're changing yourself for other people then you're not going to be truly happy and you're not going to be living your best life because you're going to almost be living a lie. You're just going to be fake. Be true to who you are because at the end of the day, you're the only you that exists, so own it. Okay, so the next tip that I have for you guys is about money. So obviously you want to be responsible with your money. I mean, we live in a society where we have to live. We have to buy food, we have to have a roof over our heads. It's almost impossible to survive with no money. I'm not saying be irresponsible with your money, but what I'm saying is that if you've been eyeing a shiny car for a while, if you've been eyeing a shiny car for a while and it's been years, you've always wanted to have that car and you have have more than enough money in your bank account to buy that car but you're just afraid to buy because you don't want to see that chunk taken out of your bank account but you've been wanting the shiny car forever like this is, has been your dream since you were younger just do it if you have the means to do something if you have the money to buy that car and you've been wanting this for so long just do it i'm not saying be irresponsible with your money because like i said we kind of need our money to live in this society but sometimes you just have to realize at the end of the day that money is just a number in your bank account and yes money is real but when you die you're not taking any of that money with you therefore if that shiny car is going to fulfill one of your lifetime needs then get it do it why not the money will always find its way back to you we're out here trying to live our best lives not our most limiting lives the next tip that i have for you guys on living your best life is expressing gratitude every day you don't need to go and write down your gratitude you don't need to like physically write it down like even just like waking up and realizing wow i am so fortunate to have this roof over my head I'm so fortunate to have legs to walk eyes to 
see and just like small things like that are going to lead to a mentality of happiness and gratitude for everything else like it's going to be like a huge snowball effect in your life because the more things that you're grateful for the more things that the universe is going to bring into your life to be grateful for the more blessings you're going to receive try and find different things every day that you're grateful for even if it's just one thing to be grateful for if you want to say it out loud say it out loud if you want to write it down write it down or if you just really want to feel it and think it in your head then do that but overall just expressing gratitude for your life and for having a body and being able to experience this earth just being grateful for that is going to help you see beyond and find other things to be grateful for and help you live your best life so the next tip that i have for you guys for living your best life is working on yourself if you've had the mentality coming into this video that like i can never live my best life because a b and c reflect on that and think what can i do to better myself to change those things in my life what can i do to better myself to wake up every day and be a happier person work on yourself even if it's as small as doing something like writing down gratitude every day praying meditating whatever makes you feel good mentally physically true self-love and happiness comes from within and that branches off to living your best life because you can't live your best life if you don't love yourself and if you're not happy with yourself taking care of yourself is so important treat yourself like you're your best friend if you're not feeling great that day reflect on it maybe treat yourself a little extra that day and sort it out with yourself like you would with a friend make sure that you are checking in with yourself on a day-to-day -day basis and taking care of yourself because one bad thought and it can lead to a spiral if you're not careful and if you're not checking in on yourself so ultimately to live your happiest and best life you have to take care of yourself check in with yourself and realize what you can be doing to wake up happier every day and that's ultimately going to lead to living your best freaking life okay so the next tip that i have for you guys is have Fun. let your inner child out me and my friends were literally at the docks we were literally singing at the top of our lungs in front of people and just having a blast like we were literally 10 year old children it was the most freeing the most fun i've had in so long it's like sometimes when we get to an older age we maybe think to ourselves like oh i can't do that anymore because i'm this old but you got to realize that you always have your inner child in you and nurturing that and expressing that is so important when you want to have fun like go and have fun and go and do what you want to do maybe even start saying yes to more things that you would have never said yes to society makes you think that life is all about working a job working a nine to five and then you retire when you're older and you got to go to university you got to do this you got to do that but at the end of the day you got to really put life into perspective and you got to realize what am i here for you got to have a fun time you gotta have that balance like of course we all need to make our money and we all need to live but you also got to make a, a balance you can't revolve your whole life around working and doing things that you don't like you you got to have fun you got to do things that you like you got to step outside of your comfort zone you got to challenge yourself you got to live and have fun start saying yes to more things take risks have fun go and try new things because you never know what's going to come out of that sometimes our life is so serious like sometimes i have this like little minion in my head that's like oh you got to do this you got to do that because of our societal programming but at the end of the day we're here to enjoy this earth we're here on this earth society is a man-made thing but we have to realize that we're here on this earth to enjoy this earth we're here to enjoy the water the trees everything that comes with it sometimes we got to step outside of our societal programming and realize like what am i doing to have fun today am i living my life don't stress too much about life as a whole at the end of the day we're gonna be dead so just think about that and think about if I were to die tomorrow what would I do today and that's what you should be doing on a more regular day-to-day -day basis okay so the last tip that I have for you guys is realize that everything absolutely everything happens for a reason at least that is what I believe and you might not know the reason at first if something horrible happens to you you might be like cursing at the universe cursing at god and being like what the hell but down the road even maybe if it's 10 years you might think back to that moment and realize oh my god i didn't even realize that that correlated to that i was just listening to emma chamberlain's podcast and she was just talking and saying that basically she went through a very depressive episode when she was 15. she said that if she never went through that depressive episode she would have never started her youtube channel and be where she 
is at today. She sees that like now as a blessing that she went through that depressive episode because of what came out of it. I believe that everything happens for a reason and you just got to know that at the end of the day, even though if you feel really shitty in the moment, it's okay to feel shitty in the moment. Once you pick yourself back up, gather yourself and keep following your intuition, keep working on that path, eventually you'll realize and see how everything fell into place and why. And maybe if you never know the reason, just know that there is a reason. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. So everything that happens in your life, it happens for you, it happens for a reason. So just remember that things are always going to get better. Even if you're going through a really dark time right now, things will get better. I promise you. And you will find your true meaning and you will realize why that shit all happen and the greater purpose to everything but yeah you guys so that was my tips on how to live your best life honestly i'm still working on things and i still have lots of things to work on be spontaneous you guys be yourself do what makes you happy and you will ultimately live your best life i want everybody to live their best life because it's the best feeling being on that true path and being on that right path it's the best feeling and i just want you guys to live your best lives too i hope you guys enjoyed these tips enjoyed this video but thank you guys again so much for watching and for all your sweet comments and for your support. I love you guys so much and I'm so thankful for where I am today. I'm so thankful for what is to come in my path and in my journey. Go and live your best lives. You deserve it. I love you guys so much. Peace out.